Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Pretty sure I ended it in this exact same outfit from last week, but I wanted to show you guys. Actually, let's show you guys my bed first because it's so freaking pretty. I think I sat on it before, so it's all mumble. But this is the bedspread that I got from Bed Bath and Table that I showed you guys last week. It is so pretty, and I love that the um pillowcases are like interchangeable well not really but if you wanted that side on display you can um as well as the bedspread as well like you can flip it around but i just think it's so cute peter hasn't really said anything like he saw i don't think he noticed because he saw it um before he went to the gym but i don't think he actually like took note of the bedspread like bloody guys like that was the first thing that i would notice if something changed in the room um, and then that's just my little bedside table, which I cleaned up. Um, and yeah, super cute. I'll show you guys the progress I've made in the bathroom. So basically, um, all of that shit in there is stuff that I just don't use. Like, I don't know, I don't really need band-aids and stuff like that in there. So this is what it looks like. So I've got my hair dry there. It's a shame that I can't put it on here, but there's just no room. I don't want it to get in the way or get wet. So for now it lives down there. And these are all my serums that I use pretty much every day. Well, not serums, but um, I only just recently got sent this ultraviolet SPF 50. It's like a um, droplet sunscreen. So I put that on my face when I'm going out. I've been using this Sand and Sky um, Australian Emu Apple um, glow drops put these on in the morning after a shower like if I go to the gym and I have a shower in the morning and they just make your face really glowy um, This I got given when I got my brows laminated. It's just by brow code and it's apparently like a brow um, Stimulating growth serum slash oil. Well, it's actually an oil. So I did put that on when I had my brows freshly laminated But I hardly really use it now um, These are the self tanning drops that I use for my face So I just put like a drop or two in with a moisturizer Moisturizer I use is the Dermalogica one, but I'll show you guys that after. I use um, tea tree oil on my pimples when I get them. It just dries them up. And it's just like a natural way of getting rid of them. So I love this. This is my second bottle so far. Um, under eye, I don't really use them that often, but when I can remember, I've been using this eye serum by Dermalogica. Um, yeah, basically it just firms and brightens underneath the eyes, but I don't really use that every day. And these are just other forms of eye cream, the Kylie one and then another um, Dermalogica. I've got my Batiste Dry Shampoo and then I've got a whole skincare slash um, face mask section. So skincare I use, I've got one of these in the shower. My Dermalogica Clear Star, as you know, I use this and I love it. Um, my moisturizer that I use, I also have the glowy one, which is in my makeup room. Um, some Kylie skin products, not gonna lie, I haven't really tested them out properly yet just because, I don't know, I feel like my skin likes the Dermalogica one and every, well, I haven't really tried a new face product in ages except for this, um, today. Um, usually my face breaks out when I use new stuff, um, but yeah, I did try this out which is the new Huda Beauty brand Wishful and it's an enzyme scrub. It basically just gets rid of all the dead skin on your face and a lot of dead skin came off my face and yeah that's probably because I don't really exfoliate that much but yeah I use that today some other Kylie skin products not gonna lie I don't really use them um, I love this foaming blackhead clearing mask by Dermalogica I'm actually loving this um, Australian emu apple mask me and Peter use it once a week and it's actually really freaking hydrating you don't really need that much I've used that much so far and I've used it maybe like five times Ooh. Um, what else do I use? Um, I have used that a few times, a Pepico sleep mask. What else is there? Just other random stuff that I've been sent. Oh, this one's good as well. Um, the Dermalogica Body Hydrating Cream, although I do probably, well, yeah, I definitely do prefer my hideaway because it's scented. That's not scented at all, but still Dermalogica is great. Like, I love their skincare. So then moving on, I've got pretty much like my hideaway drawer and then just some like tooth pick things so I don't know where to put them. This is just a little headband sometimes I use. Most of my products in my shower, but um, I've just got some body custard in here, what's left of the vanilla caramel. 
my pink sugar body custard, the new Hubba Bubba one, so freaking good. And this is the Moscato Whip Scrub. And this is my Peppy & Co charger for my facial brush. And then I got given these. These are zit stickers. I've used them on my pimples. I think once or twice and I feel like it did work it just dried them out and it kind of like stung when I put them on so yeah that's just everything in that little drawer then up here I have all of my hair care I only really use this um, on my hair after I wash it and I'm about to blow dry it Olaplex treatment which I haven't used because I got an Olaplex treatment from the hairdresser last week but I'll be using that once a week I'll probably use it actually tomorrow um, I've just got some hair brushes a clip comb little elastics in there not really much that i do with my hair to be honest and then i just decided to put my tanning stuff at the back just because i only use it once a week so i've got um my bondi sans aero which is what i use mainly i did get these sent to me the other week which i haven't tried yet so i'll make sure i do and i don't know where the lid is to that um also i don't really use this so often glow dry apparently it's just like a product that you use to dry your tan but I find that Aero tan dries pretty like well I don't really need to dry it this is what I use to tan my hand a broken brush but don't mind the tan on my hand because I was putting on face tan the other night and I forgot to wash it off so that's where I put the little droplet <laughs> and rubbed it in but I forgot to wash it off so that's why that is stained um, I also use these on my face sometimes as well they're the Dr. Dennis Grows um, Alpha Beta Glow Pads and I use this to tan my face when I'm tanning or sometimes I won't tan my face and I'll just use the drops that I mentioned before but these are really good and they work well with my skin. I've got some tanning mitts and this is just a shimmer one day tan. When I can't be bothered waiting for my tan to develop and I need it straight away, I just use this. But yeah, that's my little tanning section. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's looking like. And I'm so happy I did that because oh, I just hate messy spaces so much. Um, now I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that. The thing I'm going to tackle is this section. This needs to go underneath Peter's mouthwash. He always keeps his bloody razor on there. Um, I need to figure out my jewelry, put it back in its home. It's kind of just like built up over time. Bobby pins, stuff like that. Like toothpick things, just random shit. Um, I just want to try and keep this space really organized. I need to turn these as well it's been a while I might just it smells so good this I got from Zeba which is that clothing store um, but yeah other than that I think that looks quite neat and nice I'll probably put that underneath there as well and yeah I might fuck that off and put this in the drawer so I don't really need that let's be real all right I feel so much better when I've decluttered shit Good morning guys, happy Monday. I've had a little slow morning this morning. I actually got up and quickly had to go to the gym to make my body pump class, which I went to earlier this morning. Got back, had a protein shake, and I've just been on my computer all day catching up on emails and work and you know scheduling content and all that i went to my PO box as well and i got a few things so i'll show you guys i've already unboxed it all so I'm, i'll just put it all out here so it's easier to show you guys my little eating schedule is a bit weird i'm fasting but i'm kind of not so when i when i wake up i'll have a coffee 100 i can't go to the gym without a coffee so i'll have a coffee that i always make and then when i get back i'll have a post-workout protein shake so that's about 200 or so calories I won't have lunch, so I'll skip my lunch meal and I'll just have my snack, whether it's a snack from my JRF plan, boiled eggs, um, nuts, um, what else, um, ham and cheese roll-ups, like for example. Um, so I'll have that maybe at like three and then if I go to the gym again or go to Pilates, which I am this afternoon. Um, I'll just have something like that really small to eat. And then when I get back for dinner, I basically combine my calories from lunch and dinner. So I have like a thousand calorie meal, which keeps me satisfied. And I don't feel the need to snack after. Because I feel like if I do break up my calories throughout the day and I finish dinner, sometimes I still feel a bit hungry if it is only like a small or moderate serving. That's just how, I don't know, it just worked 
best for me, especially now that I am in a deficit to lose a little bit of fat. Um, it works for me to eat most of my calories at night and just save myself throughout the day. Um, I do keep busy, so I don't really think about eating food, even though I do have lots of snackish type foods in my fridge, which can be a bit dangerous. But as long as I track it all and I make sure I stick within my macros, I'm fine. But yeah, that's just how I've been eating the past couple of weeks. And it's been working for me. Um, I've been sticking to my macros, even sometimes eating less because I've been so full. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what I got from my PO box this morning. So I'll flip the camera around. So I actually got this little wavy straightener thing. It's from Bondi Boost and it gives those beachy waves. So I'm super excited to try that out. I got a package from Hideaway. I showed you guys this on my stories, but oh my God, what a lifesaver. Like little travel size body butter oils. How freaking cute are they? Um, the actual normal packaging, which is on my table there, can sometimes get a bit messy, especially if you're traveling or if you don't <laughs> close the lid properly it could go everywhere even though i do put them in like a plastic seal um like little ziploc bag when i am traveling but these are just absolutely perfect just to have in your bag um so i got them from hideaway and they also just um released their body balm which is like how can i explain the texture it's like in between a body custard and body oil it's like that hard but it's just I don't know, it just feels like butter on your skin and really absorbs really well without um, leaving your skin like greasy or anything like that. It just, I don't know, it feels super, super soft and hydrating. So I'm excited to put them on my legs after my shower. They've got a body milk as well, which I actually haven't tried. So I'm definitely keen to try that one out. I got a package from Skinstitute. I got some vitamin C. Uh, what else did I get? Some multi-active mist. I got a hydrating mask. Oh my God, I just love face masks, honestly. And some even blend serum. If any of you guys have used these products, let me know. Um, I'm always up for trying new skincare. Also, I got two new flavors of the Sierra Fit electrolyte powders. Um, you may have seen my other iHerb haul and mentioned this brand of electrolyte powder. If you're on a budget or you don't really want to spend um, the money on the Ultima one, um, this one is a great alternative as well. It's about $25 and you get the same amount in the Ultima one. These ones are quite expensive, like around $50. Um, but yeah, these are really good. I haven't tried these flavors yet. I might actually try it now. I don't like the tropical one. It's disgusting. Oh, sorry, not tropical. Mixed berry. I literally, yeah, it's disgusting. I don't know why it tastes so bad. It tastes like medicine. <laughs> I hope these flavors are good. Lemonade and tropical flavor. I might try tropical and let you guys know, but grape is really good. It tastes really similar to the Ultima ones. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try them. I also got these because peter loves them i got a few packets of them they're just the atkins um chocolate peanut candies they're only one carb per packet and they actually taste like peanut m ms like it's crazy i think it's like 150 cal so yeah he snacks on them i would probably prefer to snack on these to be honest but trying to limit my sweet treats I did try this dang energy bar. I saw it on iHub as well. It's got four grams net carbs, two grams sugar, quite a bit of calories, 210. Not sure if I like it. Maybe it's because I ate it hard. It just tastes weird. It's really bitter and it's real salty. Maybe it's just this flavor, chocolate sea salt. I don't know. I only ate half and I was like, ugh, don't know. Maybe I'll try it non-refrigerated and see if it's more creamier, but yeah, not a vibe. Our fridge is stocked for the week. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Here is my updated labels that I put on. So I've got supplements, snacks, jelly. That's a new one. Spreads. I got a sources one. Oil, vitamins, MCT oil powders, coffee, psyllium husk. Down here, I've got my muesli. I've got nuts. I'm going to get some coconut chips oh i also got these from iherb as well 
Um, not bad macros. Quite actually higher in carbs than I thought. It's 5 grams of carbs, but it is for a 30 gram serving. So if you're just wanting to sprinkle this on top of your granola and yogurt, you, you probably won't use 28 grams just to sprinkle, maybe even 10 grams. So that's why I got it just for a bit of crunch, but I got this one from iHerb as well. So yeah, when I open these, I'll probably transfer it into one of these little containers so it looks pretty um almond flour i still haven't opened my almond flour so as soon as i open it i'll transfer it in here and take the coffee out um yeah i got heaps of these because peter is obsessed with them so they're only about ten dollars a pack on iherb so that's good um yeah these are the dang energy bars i don't know hopefully peter likes them but I don't know. I'm not in love with them. I probably wouldn't go for them. Like, I'd probably rather eat these ones. The Lust. But my favourite still is the Smart Protein that I get from um, Low Carb Emporium. This is just some more treats and stuff. This is really nice. Choc Zero, the Keto Bark. I've had a few of these, like, after dinner. They're really, really nice. Um, would recommend these. Um, I love the Hazelnut and Almond one. Um, what else? That's pretty much it psyllium husk tea still need to kind of organize this all properly <laughs> all of my genora i may be a bit obsessed coffee proteins but yeah that's pretty much what my pantry looks like right now i walked in the kitchen this morning and look what i saw what do you mean Coles are doing those new sticky things, but like, what? My boyfriend's 27 years old. Wow. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll cook dinner for you guys on my vlog. I think I'm just gonna make a HelloFresh meal. This is our last week of HelloFresh because now that Peter is keto, it's kind of hard and it's a bit of a waste when he can't eat the carbs because yeah, usually he would eat the carby meals. I'm probably going to make this for dinner. Let's have a look. Oh, we could have salmon. I was thinking Mexican chicken steaks with salad. Simple, easy. So, yeah, going to make that for dinner and I'll make sure I vlog it. I just tried this flavor, the tropical. Oh, my God, it's really nice. It tastes like a fruit juice. You know, like those tropical poppers? Oh, my God, I love it. That actually tastes like a tropical popper. Like, remember? Like, when you used to get them in your lunchbox? Well, I did when I was in school. Love. Love that flavor. I'm going to make Peter one now. So, I just got back from Pilates just before, and I just made this. One of our last um, meals for this week for HelloFresh. Actually, no, I think we've got two more. Um, yeah, I forgot to cancel my subscription last week, so I've just made, I didn't use the Mexican spice blend because it's spicy, but I made Peter's and I just made up a variation of this salad, but I just didn't use sweet potato, but instead I used red onion. And I'm going to put some sour cream on top. Yum. Hey guys, so I literally just got back from Pilates and then I did a body pump class straight after and I am exhausted. I want to check my activity actually on my phone. We'll see how many calories I've burnt. Oh my god. 921 calories today and it's only 11 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so I just went to the P.O. box and got some parcels. I did order some more Pilates socks. These ones have the grip. So, um, yeah, it's good for a former because otherwise you just slip. I got them off eBay, actually. I'll leave the link down below, but I was just reading the reviews and these ones were the best ones. I think they're about $8 for four pairs. Then I got this from Breeze Balm. I've been using Breeze Balm for ages. I got a delivery from them maybe even a year ago, and they sent this gorgeous package with their new, um, I think it's like a Coke flavor lip balm. They gave us some movie tickets, some popcorn, and this is their new flavor. So cool, and then these are the other flavors. I actually love the grape one. What's this one? Yep, grape sorbet, I've actually finished that one. I actually have all of these tubes like literally everywhere around my house. And this is their new pineapple pash one. Do you mind? 
<laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much, Breeze Mum. That is so freaking cool. So you just go louder. Just whipped this up for lunch. Leftover chicken, a bit of, I um, actually made these the other night as well, just beef patties. My signature salad, and I just made Peter's salmon. I freaked out and I was like, oh, I'll make myself salmon, but then I was like, oh. The smell kind of put me off, so I'm just gonna have chicken avocado and a bit of salad. And that's cupy mayo. Literally the best. When the fuck I to I shit myself, like just fighting in there. This is what happened last night. We were just sitting on the couch here. And this random stray balloon from up there just randomly appeared behind us. Like, and <laughs> don't. And then we saw it like come this way. Oh, it's there. Just it just there. randomly goes up and down. It's so weird. But the other ones are starting to deflate, but it was so scary. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I just cooked dinner. I just made a um, like stir fry type thing. It's actually on the meal plan, but I used um, steak instead of beef strips. I cooked it in a bit of tamari, which is an organic soy sauce. It is low carb. Um, I cooked it in some beans. Peter's having the beans. That's not going in my mouth. Snow peas, um, broccoli, zucchini, and a little bit of white onion just for a bit of flavor. Um, but yeah, sometimes we top it with a bit of kiwi mayo. But yeah, that's dinner. Okay, so I've got a weird story to tell you. On my way to Pilates, but I get a call from my PO box yesterday saying, hey, like this lady, um, one of some other lady that has a PO box um, has lost one of her parcels. We're just wondering if you by any chance happened to accidentally pick it up because it was signed by you. And I was like, oh no. And he goes, oh, she's just really stressing out. It's a designer wallet, blah, blah, blah. I'm just telling him about the PO box story because I think it's so weird. Yeah, anyway, so they were like, oh, do you, you know, it, it was accidentally signed by you. We may have accidentally, you know, scanned it while we're giving you your parcels because I always get heaps of parcels. And I was like, no, like I would have just returned it if my name wasn't on the box. And I was like, oh, what was her name? And they said Marnie something. And that's Peter's mum's name. I was like, that was weird. And then I was like, oh, what was in the box? And they said a designer wallet and a beach towel which is two things that except and then then he said like stickers for the back of your phone which i haven't bought and what's odd is i bought a designer wallet but i got it sent to my house for riley and um what was the other thing a beach towel which i got peter from bed bath and table so it was just weird that it was stuff that i'd actually ordered but i hadn't sent it to my peer box anyway so i was like oh can you just please check blah 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 and I was like no sorry like I would have returned it if it wasn't um wasn't mine if it didn't have my name on it like anyways so he was like okay whatever sorry blah 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 and then literally five minutes later I get a call from a different post office like what are the odds just saying oh one of your other parcels has accidentally been brought here so did you want us to divert it to your PO box clearing that's just weird uh, Peter doesn't think sense. it's weird, but I'm like, her name's Marnie, and she's lost stuff that I've actually bought, but I hadn't sent it to my PO box. Anyways, I'm going to Pilates, so yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. So for dinner, I'm going to make a cauliflower bake, and this is just going to be our side dish, and we're going to have sausages, I think. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my keto cauliflower bake. It is honestly amazing. So obviously, I've cut up a whole head of cauliflower. I'm just going to put some... Put this in the microwave with some water just to soften it a bit. Um, and then I'll transfer it into this. Um, but while that's gonna be in the microwave, I've just cut up some onion, gonna put it on the pan. I'm gonna chop up some bacon, mince some garlic, and then I'll add my cooking cream. I just realized I've got the light instead of the full cream. Okay. Still under one gram of carbs per serving, I guess. That's actually all right. Um, and then I'll add all of this and I'll let it simmer. And then I just basically pour that sauce over this, chuck it in the oven and then put cheese on top after a while, but I'll show you guys. So put this in the microwave. Probably for like two minutes. So I've just chucked 
the onion and the bacon in the pan. I used four slices of the Primo shortcut bacon just from Woolworths. And I'll just wait until it gets a bit crispy and then I will pour this in and actually I might mince my garlic now. Okay, so I actually ended up putting this in the microwave for an extra two minutes. They're not completely soft, but they're just a little bit tender, so it'll just help with the cooking process. This is what my bacon and onion look like. I've just put it on very low heat. I'm gonna add my cream. And I've also added my um, garlic. I'm just gonna give that a stir around and just simmer it for about 10 minutes. I'm also gonna add some cream cheese as well, so I need to get a spoon. Probably just use one tablespoon. And I'll just let that simmer. Let that melt. I'll add some salt and pepper. And then literally all I do is I'll just pour it straight onto the top of that and chuck it in the oven for about 25 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna pour this sauce straight over top. Try and do it evenly. So this is what it should look like. You can probably use the bigger thickened cream if you want it a little bit more like creamier, but calorie wise, if you do use like a massive thickened cream, it's just gonna be like double the calories. And I find that this is enough. I'm gonna bake this in the oven for like I said, maybe about 25 minutes. And then I'll take it out and just put a layer of shredded tasty cheese on top and that is it done. So good. Let's put the timer on. We'll do 20 minutes and then I'll have a look at it. Oh, that just jumped. All right, so I've just taken the bake out of the oven. It was in for 25 minutes. I've just got some shredded cheese. Then I'm just gonna do a really light layer. Oh, it's going everywhere. Maybe let's do this. Then I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a further, let's say 10 minutes, or just whenever it starts to go brown and just take it out and just leave it to rest. So I personally like having bakes when they're heated up. So that's why I'm making it now. It's only like three o'clock. So we probably won't have this until like six or seven, but I'll just reheat it either in the oven or in the microwave. Guys, I just rearranged my pantry for about two hours. I decluttered a lot of stuff cleaned a lot of stuff. So here's the big reveal. Ta -da! Holy shit, I just took those plants from my shelves just to make it look pretty for the photos that I was taking. But yeah, this is my pantry. All the canisters and the labels are from Little Label Co. Um, my protein, nuts, almond flour, muesli. That's a muesli from, what's it called? Beach Harvest. My tea, psyllium husk, I just have them at the back because I don't really use them as often. Um, almond flour, coconut chips, I still need to take the label off that, but I just put that one on just then. Um, my pasta, my Slendia, my protein bars, before you speak, coffee's in there, and my um, stevia. I actually usually keep that outside on the bench, but I just put it there for the photo. And then down here, these canisters are actually from Ikea, super cheap. I think they were about five bucks each. Um, and they've got the smaller ones as well. Um, so in here, I've got my MCT oil powders. I probably use this one the most, the um, Perfect Keto MCT and the, this is Keto Zone MCT oil, which I got from iHerb. I just have some other sort of collagen stuff that I don't really use, um, but I do need to use them up eventually. My keto snacks, so I've got some beach harvest coconut chips. I've got some beef jerky, barbell air dried steak. This is probably my favorite biltong, it's from Aldi. 
Me and Peter get them a lot. This I actually found from Spud Shed. If you're from Perth, it's... Mm, don't know. It's not that good, but Peter will eat it eventually. I got some crackers. These are the low-carb ones. Pork crackle. Peter likes snacking on them. Also got this as well, which you put in the microwave. It kind of like reminds me of popcorn. Like it inflates in a... Um, like a paper bag. Um, Peter was like, yeah, it was all right, but he said he'd prefer those. I don't really eat pork crackle. So yeah, not my vibe. Um, I've got some pesto almonds at the back that I keep forgetting that I have. Um, so that's in that little section. And then I've got my baking section. Ooh, I've got some no shoe brownies. I've got some LSA mix. These are just pink Himalayan rock salt so I can um, top up my salt grinders, raw almond flour, baking powder, some dang coconut chips. I got them from iHerb um, and some hemp hearts. I actually need to get a small canister for them as well. Um, all right, next, my sweeteners. I've got the low cocoa salted caramel. I actually really like it. I've got this one. This is by the brand Sugarless. This one and the Natvia is my favorite. They don't have any nasty aftertaste or anything like that and they're always on sale at Coles so they're really good. I just have some other snacks at the back that didn't fit in here. This is the muesli that I get from Beach Harvest. That's what it's called. Those are the macros. It's so yummy especially with the Audi coconut yogurt. Um, and then moving along, I've got my chocolate. This is the Choc Zero that I got from um, iHerb. Also got these from iHerb. Peter loves them, um, especially when he's on keto. He's got the biggest sweet tooth as well. So he has these. Um, what else do I have underneath here? These are really nice. The Keto Bark by Choc Zero, also from iHerb. I've got a code down below. Uh, what else do I have in here? Some peanut butter cups from Atkins. Just a bunch of random shit, really. I've got some 90% lint chocolate, which I make my treats with. At the back, I've got some VitaWorks white chocolate, which I get from Elite Sup. That was just a gift, but it looks too pretty to throw away. So maybe Peter will eat that when he's not doing keto. In here, Peter's snacks. He's just got tinned salmon and oysters. That literally makes me vomit looking at it. <laughs> seasonings just from HelloFresh. Just a bunch of like Mexican seasonings, Italian herbs and spices. Smoked paprika, chili flakes, all of that jazz. Um, not sure what to put in this one, so I just put these in there for now just to fill the space. And then this pro granola is from iHerb. I haven't actually tried it yet, but it's got... 97 calories, 2 grams net carbs per serving. So I'll try that after my beach harvest is done. This is just some more um, spices and stuff like that. That didn't fit on my rack outside. Just some more salt and pepper. Um, and this is just cinnamon, but we hardly really use that. Um, over here is my Ziploc bags. I hardly really use them because I've got reusable ones. Okay, up here, this is just my HelloFresh stuff that I don't eat, but Peter does when he's not on keto. So it's just like rice, breadcrumbs, and all of that. So we've accumulated a lot from the HelloFresh boxes. Oh, these I love, crispy shallots. Um, so I just keep them in there and just make them when um, Peter's not on keto. This is all my vitamins and stuff. I think I need another one for all of my adrenal switch because they don't fit in my supplement one. <laughs> but yeah, Peter's got his vitamins in here. He's got some fish oil tablets, men's multivitamins, whatever that is, apple cider vinegar. I've got my JS Health Hair vitamins, the gross electrolyte powder that I hate. Probably just give that away. But yeah, for now that's what's in that little container and then i have all of these so these are my sauces keep it cleaner pasta sauce some more good sauce these are all from low carb emporium um, pete evans moroccan simmer sauce and the butter chicken moving along peter bought this when he wasn't on keto and it's just rude having it in here <laughs> so yum um and some peanut butter that one is from aldi it's probably the best i've ever tried um, next, I've got one for jelly because I'm obsessed. I always have it in the fridge and just some natural gelatin when I want to make treats. I've also got some just normal store-bought gelatin, but I prefer the natural one. Um, and then I've just got my um, water drops in here as well. I've got banana. This is a tropical, oh no, caramel 
and raspberry lemonade. This one's really good. I might actually have some now. Then I've got my little Genora um, container with all of my Renew Plus, berry and pineapple. They also have the flavorless collagen, um, which you can put in anything hot or cold. This is the Naked Detox, which can only be mixed in cold drinks. Otherwise, um, it just defeats the purpose. So they're really amazing for traveling. I'll be taking some of those next week when I go to Sydney. I don't think I've told you guys that, but I only just found out today that I am. So that is my Genora. Other supplements. So I've got some Ultima here. Acetyl L-carnitine. I've got my ripped fat burner. Um, RP Max. Peter takes that as a pre-workout. He likes that flavor. What's this? Rage. That one's probably my favorite if I was to take one. Oxy Shred. Don't really take that anymore, to be honest. Um, and glutamate that I'm mixing with my smoothie. So that's what's in there. Moving along is my... This is where I keep my stevia in there. But as I said, I do keep this outside on the kitchen bench. This is just my Before You Speak sachets, just so they look pretty. So I just have them all in there. And then just the Kona at the back, because sometimes Peter likes having the Kona. Um, my protein bars, I've got some Lust ones. I haven't actually had them in ages. I did buy these, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. Mm, don't really know if I'm a fan. It's very dry, but maybe because I had it refrigerated, so I might try it not in the fridge. They're also from iHerb. But yeah, pretty much I've only got Lust Protein in there. I'll put these back in the snack section. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. Like I said, that's the Beach Harvest Muesli Tea Protein. Um, I'm pretty sure these are all from Ikea except for that. That one's from Kmart and that's from Zeba. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Oh, down below here, these are also from Little Label Co. I've just got my hard avocados. Once they soften up, I put them in the fridge. Some sweet potato, that's from HelloFresh, but we probably won't be having it as often as we did before we started the JRF challenge. So we'll probably have that once every two months rather than sort of once every week, or maybe we could have it once every month just to reset our system with some healthy carbs. So I just decided to keep some there. And my favorite almond milk, the So Good Unsweetened. Every time it's on sale for $1.50, we grab two boxes of them because we love them. Last but not least is my oil. So I've just got my coconut oil, oops. Um, I've just got extra virgin olive oil. These aren't oils, but I didn't know where else to put them. My balsamic vinegar, and then this is just white wine vinegar that I put on my Greek salads when I make them. So yeah, that is my pantry. How freaking cute. I love this little corner, especially with the little plants up the top. I probably will take them back and put them back where they belong and get other plants for here. I'm not quite sure which ones yet, but I do want matching ones because they obviously don't really match. Oh, I guess they do in a way, but I probably won't keep those ones up there. But yeah, that's my pantry. Also, I'm going to replace this. This was a gift from Joseph and the JRF team when we moved into our house. It's just a success nutrition facts, serving size, 24 hours a day, servings per container, 365 days a year, and you get the gist. But I did order a print of Decenio, so I'm going to put that up on there. I think it's just a little butterfly one, or I think I ordered a coffee bean one. I can't remember one of those two, but it's just a mini print that I'll put up there um, in the corner. But yeah, that is what my pantry looks like. I'm about to clean this. I usually clean it about once a week, sometimes twice a week. But I use the Co still. It's freaking amazing. I feel like I can't get that shine with just using like the Pino Clean. Like I've got the Pino. I also need to do the dishes. I've got this. That's the next thing I want to tackle. This area. But um, oh, might be. Oh yeah, here. I've got this that I use, but it just I don't know. Like it cleans it, but it doesn't make it sparkle. Um. Yeah, I need to get another thing for here for this sort of shit and like down there. But yeah, I don't know. It just gives you that sparkle. I'll show you guys what the um, after looks like. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. They did send it to me though. Um, like they gifted it to me and yeah, I love it so far. But um, yeah, like apparently it is non-toxic. It's really um, home friendly, kid friendly. It doesn't have any like harmful toxins like most um, store brought 
um, cleaning products have. So yeah, I've been loving it so far and these are really good. I've got a glass one that I use for my bathrooms and just mirrors and stuff like that. It's blue um, and that's also really good, but these are really good as well. I wash them probably like once a week with all my tea towels and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys the before and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, this is the after. I didn't even do like the best job I could just then. I just literally gave it a quick wipe down and used the little rough side just to get around the, um, like around here and around here. Um, so yeah, I've just finished making my sausages. Also need to throw these flowers out because they're dead. Um, these are just the Primo Kransky ones. Don't judge me, I didn't clean the silicon thing from the meal before, which was steak the other night, but whatever. Um, yeah, so cheese, Kranskis, the Primo ones from Woolworth. So this is the bake that I made before. Yum. I'm just gonna put some on a plate and maybe pop some in the microwave for like a minute. But holy shit, I tried it before and it is amazing. It's so freaking good. If you guys try this recipe, tag me on Instagram because honestly, I could win MasterChef with this. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. Good morning, guys. Um, so I just got back from the gym and we just went to the post office. I need to pull this up a little bit. So yeah, I did a booty bar class at Good Life. I just went to my PO box and got a few things. I finally got my drawer organizers. I'm so excited. I mainly got this for all of my um, swimwear and all of that. So it actually comes in like a little flat pack. I did end up ordering two sets of three. So I think I've got six in total. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think that the inside of this would be as flimsy, but I guess like it's just a little divider um, just so you can keep organized. Um, so yeah, I did end up getting two sets. This is how they come and you just open them up like that and then just zip them like that. But yeah, I just got these from eBay. I literally just typed in drawer organizer dividers and they came up. I can leave a link down below if you want these ones. But yeah, just got these from eBay. So I'll be doing that when I get home. I'm so excited. Also, I was just opening packages just before I started filming. TaylorMade PR sent me the new Jaclyn Hill Morphe collaboration. No note, nothing, just literally sent me it. So funny because I was actually going to buy this when it first released, but I'm pretty sure you had to get up at a stupid time. And I was like, oh, you know, I'll just buy it when the hype goes down. But oh my freaking God, thank you so, so freaking much. Look at it. Um, I've got the James Charles palette as well. And I love the shadows. Honestly, this is amazing. It's more of like a pinky, earthy, warm tone palette. I freaking love it. It literally screams Jaclyn Hill. Um, but thank you so much, TaylorMade PR. Like that was so unexpected. Um, so yeah, shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. I'm definitely gonna have to do a um, tutorial with them because amazing. I got a little package from Rimmel. Oh my God. They always hook me up. So they've got some new jelly liners. Jelly Harders, which is what I used in one of my videos. I actually love their liquid liner. Let's see if they sent it. Oh yeah, their Wonder Liner. Wonder Ink. Um, it's like a felt tip liner. I personally like using felt tips um, when I do my eyeliner. Oh yay, thank you so much. Yeah, I personally love using felt tip liners when I'm doing my eyeliner just because I, know, I just find it so much easier to use um, over like a liquid liner or even a pot with a brush. So yeah, this is the Wonder Ink Eyeliner. That's the tip of it. It's really flimsy, so it's super easy to create a really sharp wing. Anyways, I might do a tutorial or something with it because it's amazing. Oh my God, I used to be obsessed with the Oh My Glosses. I used to have the clear one in my kit. They're honestly the best glosses. They're not sticky or anything like that. Um, or oh, this one. I had in my freelance kit for years, still do. Oh, this brings back memories. I love that glass and also one of my favorite pressed translucent powders. So thank you so much, Rimmel. Let's see what's in here. Oh, also my box 
boxes are getting delivered today. That's why I'm taking a duty because Peter has to be home. Um, we don't want to miss that delivery. So Peter's going to stay home to sign for the boxes. But all of my boxes from Queensland are coming today. Excuse me? What do you mean? Hi Jasmine, Sephora is excited to share with you the newness of upcoming launches from their brands. Okay. I've got a Foreo. Wait, this is like what I have from Pepico, facial cleanser. I'm gonna have to do a giveaway because this is honestly so much stuff. Serums, Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder. Oh my God, face masks. What's this? Repair oil. Oh my god, I'm so spoiled. Thank you so much. Definitely gonna have to do a giveaway because honestly, I will not get through any of this. But thank you so much, Sephora. Holy shit. Okay, I gotta go finish my protein shake and um, yeah, head to my skin appointment. I think I'm gonna get the same needling as I got last time. I think it was the MCT injector. And then the next time, so in a month from now, I'm going to try the Vampire Facial. She did recommend me just doing two of the MCTs just so my skin doesn't, you know, freak out when she does the Vampire Facial. Um, so, yeah, she just recommended to, for me to get two MCTs before I get the Vampire Facial. But, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish my protein shake and book a DD because I, yeah, I need to go. I need to be there in 20 minutes and it takes 20 minutes to get there and I haven't even booked a DD. So I'm just about to get MCT injector. She just extracted some of the little tiny clear bumps that I had underneath my eyes. I think it's called Millennia. Um, and she also extracted some from my chin and then around my nose area. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, I'm just coming mm -hmm. on here. Three, two, one. So I just finished my skin treatment. Again, we did the MCT injector. Um, I didn't do it with numbing cream this time because I literally couldn't feel it last time. So she's like, do you want to try it without numbing cream? It did sting a little bit. I'd probably say four out of 10 in pain, but this is my skin post-treatment. Super glowy and hydrated. Guess what arrived? All of my boxes from Queensland. So I'm just zooming in because my address is on some of the labels. So just want to be a bit cautious with that. A couple of them came a bit like damaged. Well, not damaged, but like a couple of them came like that, which is a bit weird, even though I've got fragile on them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be spending the rest of the day unpacking. So yeah, I'll show you guys. Once it's all unpacked, I guess. Just made some lunch. I just have some chicken breast and leftover cauliflower bake from last night. And then we'll tackle the boxes. Oh my God, guys, not even halfway. Look at all my kitchen shit that I had. Oh my God, just as I thought I had everything I needed. I've got so much shit now, holy crap. I'm gonna put everything like kitchen wise on the bench. And then I might do a big time lapse. Fuck. <laughs> Wish me luck.
so it's behind the clinic. Yeah, was this is like mine was showing this way. Let me write that in. Right. I have it as a drop of pin right here. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So this morning we're actually going to go and get our skin checked um, by a skin specialist. I haven't been in about two years to get like my freckles checked. I can't stress how important it is, especially if you do have a family history of skin cancer. My grandma. Um, has previously had skin cancer just from being in the sun um, at a young age. She's had cancer removed multiple times um, on her face, on her arms, on her legs, on her body, like pretty much everywhere. Um, so that's why I don't really go into the sun. If I do, I'll wear 50 plus SPF or I'll only go in the sun for like an hour at a time. I'm so conscious. Um, so yeah, we're going to go get our skin checked in Perth. I think it's called Skin Check WA is their Instagram. It's in Inglewood. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing this morning. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, about my pap smear when I got it. I don't know if I um, vlogged it um, when I got it done on the Gold Coast, but the results came back and apparently there was like some... What? Oh, oh. Uh, apparently the results back and there were some like abnormalities in one of the cells so they suggested for me to go to a gynecologist and get a biopsy just to make sure everything's all right so yeah that's what's happening with that so I'm going on Monday so hopefully there's nothing but if there is at least I treated it early so get your pap smears apparently um, with pap smears you have to be 25 or over so if you're 25 and you haven't got your pap smear highly recommend because you just never know all right, so we just got back from the skin check and all was good with me and Peter. There wasn't really anything she said I needed to keep an eye out on just to obviously wear sunscreen when you're in the sun. Um, she also said um, I don't need to come back for another two to three years um, again. So yeah, all was good. Um, I just went to my PO box and got a few parcels. So I'll show you guys. I got this from X50. Marine Collagen and Shroom Super, Super Food Beauty Blend. They've given me a cute little drink bottle and a bag. And then these are the sachets. I already opened these in the car. Super cute pink flavor. I'll let you guys know how they go. And then this gorgeous company called Alua Candle Company sent me one of their lychee and guava hand poured pure soy candles it smells amazing apparently they're from albany here in perth so thank you so much i love the pink on the top so pretty and then finally i got the new sand and sky product it is their smoothing body sand i'm super excited to use this and try it. i'll let you guys know how it goes yesterday went all right i still have so much to go but we did do most of my kitchen organization that one's not really good these are all of my molds i want to get little dividers this is all of my um containers and tupperware and then i brought some pots and stuff from back home so i've got all of them in there um but yeah i'll show you guys what it all looks like when we're done still obsessed with the pantry Added some more plants. I got this one from Bunnings, but I don't know if I'm gonna put it there. And that's just a little, um, I think I got this from Kmart. I used it when I was doing HelloFresh and I put the um, recipes on display in my kitchen. Um, I added some more stuff from home. So there were just some protein powders that I had in the box, some BCAAs. I forgot how much Genora I had at home. So I packed all of that, all of my Primal Kitchen stuff. Um, MCT oil powders also brought this from home as well which just has all of my before you speak in it um, but yeah I pretty much just stocked up and brought all of the stuff that I hadn't opened like I think this beef gelatin these 180 cakes and stuff like that were all in the boxes so oh yeah and also these quest bars too so yeah hey guys I just had dinner my skin is breaking out from my MCT injector facial. Pretty much everything that was underneath my skin is coming to the surface. So I've got 
heaps around here, around here. But my face just looks so glowy. I don't have anything on at the moment. Sorry if there's food in my teeth, but I just had dinner. I just had some leftover um, chicken breast with egg stuffed capsicum. We are actually off down south of Perth. We're going to Mandra. Peter's family has a holiday home down there. So we're going to go crabbing tomorrow. I know, like, can you just picture me freaking trying to catch crabs? Um, but yeah, they always do it as a family. Like, it's just tradition for them. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, so because obviously Peter and I are keto, I have come prepared. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to bring. So I've meal prepped um, the spaghetti. Um, so I'll bring that. I've got my genora. I've got my beach harvest coconut chips, my favorite almond milk, my electrolytes. We bought some Powerade, no sugar. Um, what else? Stevia sticks for our coffee, some protein bars. I always overpack when it comes to snacks. Just bought some oil, pork crackle. What else do I have in here? Coffee. Um, another one, Sunkist Zero. Ooh. What else? Peter's just got his like sardine things. I've got some crackers. Uh, what else do I have? Biltong. That biltong. Uh, I think that's it. Like garlic powder and then tuna. And then in here we've got our eggs couple of avocados, some Vitaworks white chocolate, an onion, the Viking Mama cookies, we just put them in a container, um, more avos, and then to snack on, I'm going to bring some of this and cheese, that, some Swiss cheese, might bring the HelloFresh olives, Peter loves this. It's too spicy for me though. It's actually um, good macros. It's 0.8 per serve and that's about this much of it. Um, that's the spaghetti that I've meal prepped, some parmesan. We've got some bacon that I'll take, eggs. What else? I think that's about it. Um, we probably will end up going out for lunch and dinner. So yeah, I'd just rather be prepared just in case. Cute, get up, bruh. Yeah. Cheers, bruh. <laughs> We are about to go crabbing. I probably won't go in because I'm scared. <laughs> but we're at a crab beach in Mandra. Holy shit. Annalise and Jordan are all suited up. So is Peter. I might have a turn when they're done, but not sure. Depends how big they are. <laughs> Got this cute cap from Kmart because I forgot to bring my hat gonna set up and watch them crab can you see them from here because I can't are they small really I want to see you catch one tell me when so I can film <laughs> cute yeah oh yuck what Smelling yeah. a dog shit. <laughs> You're a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I was just bringing him over there because you never like seen one. <laughs> oh my god. There's heaps of more out there, but they're too small. <gasps> Something just bit me. Peter caught a fish. <laughs> Oh my god. Caught my very first blowfish. I just caught a whiting. Oh shit. Oh, he's over it. He's so tired. Say hi. Look. Say hi to everyone. Oh, he's so cute. Good morning guys, it's now the next day. I literally just woke up. Just about to make a coffee and head to Pilates. 
I have an appointment with a doctor today, but I'm going to start a new vlog and explain why. I seriously need to put a tan on. I feel so pale. I'm heading to the Gold Coast tomorrow. I'm super excited. So I'll obviously be vlogging my adventures. But yeah, today I've got a doctor's appointment and it's basically in regards to the pap smear that I had, but I will explain that all in next week's vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.